Okay, so I'm not really a doctor, but I do want to discuss medical qualifications that a CDL holder is required to meet. The DOT physical is the most important qualification for any CDL driver because it's intended to help ensure the safety of the CDL driver and other drivers sharing the road. The Department of Transportation requires all CDL holders to receive periodic physical examinations from an approved DOT medical examiner. The DOT medical exams look for certain pre-existing medical conditions that might impair a CDL driver's ability to safely operate a commercial motor vehicle. A medical examiner's certificate, which is commonly called a DOT medical card, provides proof the CDL driver has met the medical requirements to hold a CDL. A potential CDL driver must hold a DOT medical card before a CDL permit can be issued. So, let's discuss what the DOT medical exam covers. The guidelines I'm about to address are very basic and any questions should be addressed by a medical professional familiar with your physical condition. A CDL driver must have 20-40 correctable vision in each eye. The key here is correctable vision, and that means eyeglasses or contact lenses are okay. A CDL driver cannot be a diabetic requiring needle-injected insulin. Diabetes controlled by diet may be permissible. In some instances, a prescription blood pressure drug can be used to control high blood pressure. The blood sugar level of a CDL driver must be under 200. The use of a narcotic or any other habit-forming drugs will prevent you from passing the DOT physical. and a current diagnosis of any cardiovascular disease or cardiac issues may require you to provide additional information from your doctor. There are some other conditions or factors that may be revealed during the DOT physical exam that could prevent a driver from obtaining the DOT medical card. Those conditions include sleep apnea, a recent back injury, a recent major surgery, or a current hernia. Now these are just some basic guidelines and subject to change. If you have any concerns about the information mentioned above, contact your primary doctor to determine if you meet the DOT physical requirements.